November isn't the ideal time to spend a night outdoors, but that's exactly what many residents recently did for the fourth annual Sleep Out Saturday. The event, put on by Bridge Communities, asks members of the public to spend a night in the cold to see firsthand what it's like to be homeless. NCTV 17's Ryan Jones has more. For Melissa Bill's third Sleep Out Saturday as associate pastor for St. Timothy Lutheran Church in Naperville, she wanted members of her congregation to get the full effect of being homeless. The best way to do that was sleeping in low 40 degree weather. We met here at four o'clock this afternoon and set up our boxes and our tents and figured out how to keep our boxes from falling over and how to make doors over the edges of our boxes so that the, the air didn't get in. And um, so just first of all, that experience of sleeping outside and on a November night um, is, is a big piece of learning. Barb, Steve, Jacob, and Matthew Bernardi have participated in all four Sleep Out Saturdays. Barb feels the experience is an eye-opener, especially for her children. I don't think they realized that there can be kids in their school, kids in the neighborhood, kids that are homeless and don't look that way. There's no way to look homeless. Um, and so I think it's a good opportunity for them to just see outside of themselves. Spending a night in the elements was just one of the ways Bill's raised awareness. One of the activities she created was to write what they would put in their backpack if that's all they had to live on. I think I would have, uh, you know, my proper gear as far as dress, the tent, and the sleeping bag. Um, I think also I would uh, bring a photo with me uh, of my family. Playing cards, uh, maybe some pen and paper to doodle around, or just fun things like that. Bill said she was impressed with the answers that were given and stressed how important it is that we treat our homeless brothers and sisters equally. And you may end up staying with, a, with you know, grandparents or aunts or a neighbor down the street or, or a friend. Um, really, it's just a string of bad luck that could get you into the homeless position, not, not because you did anything wrong or not because you're a bad person. While the participants got to wake up and enjoy a pancake breakfast, the experience gave them an appreciation for what the homeless struggle with every day. I feel sad that they don't, they can't have a home and they have to be out all the time and they don't have enough money. Reporting from St. Timothy Lutheran Church, Ryan Jones, Naperville News 17. After the pancake breakfast, people use the church bathrooms to brush their teeth, wash up and change clothes in time for the 9 o'clock church service.